Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Want to show off your love for Tailmon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome to a different sort of video. I'm sure you, you're surprised by the, um, by the thumbnail. We're going to be playing Malamar in this expanded single price tournament. So it's a custom format. You are not allowed to play EXs, GXs, um, or Vs in this tournament or anything that modifies price cards such as uh, Jirachi Prism Star, um, Life Dew, and other stuff. So um, Black Market, for example, uh, Articuno, Gostler, the Excadrill, Ultra Necrozma. I don't know why Ultra Necrozma is banned though. I guess it's too powerful um, for this format. So it's organized by the Dice Town League. I was very interested when I saw it. And the tournament is about, actually about to start. I'm up against Gabe Shumway. And I decided to play Malamar. Yeah, I decided to play Malamar. I am up against Gyarados. I would expect this to be a decent matchup as long as I can set up. You can see there's the challenge. So, good old Malamar, we'll see how it ends up um, working out, right? Uh, I guess I can wait for him to send me the challenge. There we go. Uh, 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 there we go. So, I don't think we draw, we do draw, I mean, pass, pass, right? No, not at all. All right, uh, there is no top cut and this is a one day event. It's unfortunate that there is no top cut. Um, there where uh let me check you too so he's playing gyarados uh standings so there are i don't know how many players i can't tell uh 60 players so a pretty good amount and we've got a decent ish Start, we need a solid style wish, but we do get um, Mulligans. He's only playing five basic Pokemon, so I'm sort of really surprised he only had, he only hit one Mulligan. All right. So over the next few days, you'll be seeing me play with this tag. Gyarados has 150 HP. So the extra damage counters from, um, the extra damage counters from, from, from Giratina will definitely be making a difference and also the horror energy will be making a pretty important difference right here. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely, definitely excited. Afterwards, I thought I could maybe play capture energy instead of horror energy to improve consistency of the deck, but overall, I think we're in a fine spot. I like my matchup against this deck. I just need a solid uh, Stellar Wish. So what I'm going to do is I want to Stellar Wish first before I Quick Wall because I don't know if I'm going to get a supporter or not. If I don't, then I might need to Quick Wall for um, another Jirachi. I do find the N, which is nice. Uh, I'm not happy about giving my opponent extra price cards, of course, but it is what it is. Go ahead and grab the Inke. Um, I think I will play down the Blastephalon. I'll attach this. Uh, he plays three stadiums. I'm gonna discard that one. Um, he plays Rescue Scarf. I'm not super concerned about that. And then I guess I can attach the Horror Energy to Blastephalon. That immediately threatens like, if you don't evolve, then I'm gonna start wrecking you. I do find a stadium. I do find another, um, another Jirachi. My hand is, still a little bit dead so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get another stell wish off i would love to find either a supporter for next turn or a quick ball uh i think i'm gonna keep the research i think it makes sense to keep it 
and we will go ahead and pass. Yeah, my opponent sent a sad face. Not sure why. <clears throat> Not sure why. So I'm gonna check out the meta game for this. It is open deck list, so there's a lot of Trevenant. That is why this uh, Giratina is in here. Uh, there's a single Malamar, that's me. <laughs> there's Whimsicott, there's Archie's Blasters, there's Goldurk, there's Excatrill Control, there's Zapdos, so Zap Beasts. Um, Sap Beasts, there's six Greninjas, yep, that's why this is here. And there's six map parties, and then there's 31 other <laughs> classified decks. So, okay. I can simply attach right here. I guess I can do this. Well, is this a good attacker? Discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Honestly, it might not be the worst idea to have that guy powered up. So we'll go ahead and research. Uh, we do find Malamar. We also... Um, get to establish another NK right here, and I can start powering up Giratina. Uh, I mean, I already have stadiums and switches, and there's yeah, I guess I'll keep the stadium in case my opponent ends up um, finding another bench Pokemon, I guess. So I'll get the distortion door going, put one damage counter there. And then I'll start powering up. Um, yeah, just I'll start powering up this Giratina, make sure I have an attacker. And then I think I'm okay just doing this, right? No, it's just four damage counters, but that's okay. Uh, the damage here doesn't really matter. I get a knockout, which is what we want, right? Definitely what we want. And things are looking pretty good from here on out. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, we see another magic arc getting benched. That is fair. Uh, we see a rescue scarf on the active. So it's going to be like an exchange, but at some point, I don't know. Finds a Rosa. At some point, my um, spell tax, which I'm pretty sure I do play spell tax, right? I thought I did play spell tags. Yeah, four spell tags. I just haven't seen any. And the fact that he just benched this magic art might mean, and there's uh, Gyarados on the discard in the discard pile, might mean that he might win since he plays so many water energies. It doesn't seem like a great matchup for him. But yeah, like this is exciting because this is no no way to modify prices, so everyone is going to play uh, to six prices. Yeah, there's no way around it. You have to actually take six prices, which if you've been following the format, <laughs> you know that that is just not very common. All right, so we see double magic art right there. Um, I mean, a risk to stretch your turn might be good. Three waters, that's a KO. How much damage is it? It's 30 plus 30. So actually, he almost whiffed the KO. <laughs> he actually almost whiffed the KO. All right. So there's this spell tag, which is really nice because he has no way around that. So I'll do that. And then I'll definitely attach. And I'll just go ahead and end. Yeah, I'll take away the Gyarados from his hand. And we find that, which is pretty okay. We also uh, can establish another Malamar, which is fantastic. I don't know why I'm playing Mr. Mime instead of you. That's just really silly of me. That is honestly just outright silly. All right, so we'll go ahead and still wish. Um, let's grab Field Blower. Yeah, that way he doesn't get the Gyarados back. I'm pretty happy about that. And we can also start powering up this Giratina, get the damage counters going, and then we can Psychic Recharge once. We can Psychic Recharge to... You know what? I'm going to give myself the option to discard cards from my opponent's hand, so I like putting the energy there, and then we'll retreat. And we'll go ahead and Shadow Impact. Now, he does need to hit four water energies. Um, so I'll start just spreading the damage. It doesn't really matter anywhere else. 
but I'd rather make it as difficult as possible for him to take a KO on my Giratina. Alright, alrighty. So there's the Magic Arp. You see, Crash Awake, very nice. Very nice card to have, so probably double evolution right here. Yeah. Should be able to evolve both. And so right, I'll be able to just put all the damage counters right there. Well, I guess I wouldn't mind setting up a KO with this guy, just to discard a random card, right? Why not? So that means I need three damage counters here and then one damage counter here. To see the rescue scarf. And, but only three waters, so I actually do not get KO'd, and this is exactly what I was talking about, you know? This is exactly what I was talking about. Now, I'm gonna be ahead, right, in the exchange, right? He doesn't have any way to shuffle my prices, so... Okay, I don't think I need more Malamars. He doesn't have... I don't think... Yeah, he doesn't play any way to switch my active, so I'm free to just do this. I never have to worry about switches and whatnot. Uh, I might have to worry about attaching energies though, so I should be careful. I actually should be careful. Um, yeah, here works. And then we'll go ahead and Shadow Impact. And I'll place the damage over here. So then he takes a knockout. I can place one damage counter here, take a prize. He also doesn't get the Pokemon back and he has to promote. So if he doesn't have another basic Pokemon, that's game because then I can just attack and win, right? With this guy or even this guy. I think that's game unless he has another basic. I don't see, I mean, the only way it's not game is if he doesn't attack. But if you're not attacking, you're also not winning. So if he attacks, he's in, an, he's in a terrible spot. And if he doesn't attack, he's also in a terrible spot. Why do I have Mr. Mime? I'm so silly. Okay, he chooses not to attack. Um, so honestly, I just, yeah, I'll take the price. That works. I don't mind that too much. And I'll place it here. Ten, one damage counter away from getting KO'd, but not quite. He gets the cards back, that's okay. That is completely, completely okay. So the game will go on, but I 100% have the advantage right here. He has another Gyarados, he has another Magic Arp. If he benches the Magic Arp, though, I can just place damage counters and KO it. So he needs to bench two Pokemon. But I'm getting, um, I'm definitely getting a prize next turn, I think. We'll see. Uh, he discarded Gyarados and Water. Yeah, so he's going to go double Magic or Bench. But I don't think he realizes that, yeah, I can go two damage counters on each, right? Oh, wait, so then that means this guy survives. That's okay. I don't mind the active surviving, right? I definitely don't mind the active surviving. So we'll promote you. And then we'll go Distortion Door. So I don't win this turn, but I just need to like say hi. <laughs> and we're good to go. I get the spell tag. I get to do this. And there's a victory. There we go. Yeah, straightforward match. Um, definitely a rough matchup for Gabe. Uh, GG to him. And I'll be back with the next round. All right, round two is up. We are up against Trevenant. Probably a matchup that I should fear. Um, we lose a coin flip, so we're definitely going first. So we're gonna be item locked for a while. However, we do have that Giratina. Remember, we do have that Giratina. Okay, not the best start for sure. With the dull Malamar, no supporter hand. We will get Mulligan, which is nice. A Mulligan. I mean, I can go computer search into Jirachi, switch into it. 
It's not bad. Yeah, Tremon was another deck I thought would be really good and it is quite popular, so... Yeah, Trevenant and Greninja, that's why I have the tech Kiratina in here. Right. It does decide to bench two Pokemon, three Pokemon. Wow, nice. Oh, that must be Phantom, right? Yeah, oh wow, three Phantoms. Okay, so I actually get the N. All right, he has one Guzma and one Counter Catcher, so I don't think I should fear my Oranguru getting promoted, but I also don't think Oranguru is that great here. What I do want, however, is to start getting energy into the discard pile. So I'm gonna discard the Oranguru. Oh, wow, I pri wait, what? I priced three of my Psychics. <laughs> That's not great. Price three of my psychic energies. I feel like I should just get rid of the field lore. It's gonna be a card that I cannot play, so might as well. I this Kratina is available, which is nice. I feel like the item lock is just gonna to be too much though. Alright, so I'll do that, I'll do that, and then Alright. That's solid. Um, if I could have gotten an energy attachment, that would have been pretty sick. I feel like I should just search for the Giratina at this point, honestly. Might as well, right? Might as well. Just discourage him from setting up his Trevenant. So like I said, he has one Kuzma, so he could end up bringing it up, but... A little doubtful. Oh, we get more need. I'll take that. One Malamar at the bottom, but that's okay. <laughs> Three items in her hand. Never a good thing when you're about to be up against a Trevenant. Maybe my opponent forgets. I don't know. We'll see. Having access to energy is also nice. It's nice for him, but it's nice for us as well. If he plays a stadium, then we can actually threaten to start attacking with Kiratina too. All right, so there's the item lock. Uh, nice N. I feel like I should play it, right? Yeah, I should play it. Okay, that's a solid card to get. So I can do this. Ah, oh, he does play triple enhanced hammer though. And I can go ahead and do hmm. this, I guess. Grab this psychic. And I still wish. Huh. Grab this, I guess. And then I'll go ahead and Psychic Recharge. All right. Yeah, I can't attack next turn though. Oh wait, actually I can attack if my opponent plays down the Dimension Valley. Field Blower, never mind, I can't attack anymore. And we see the research. Ooh, and that's a Guzma gone. Oh, but he has four Via Seekers, never mind. Okay, so we see a pass. Hmm. So he's forced to use that Trovent, right? In theory. Sixty and twenty. So this gets two hit KO'd. I feel like I should attach to the active. 
And then I really don't want to end, but I think I need to. This guy can get a KO. Alright, so I got the energy, that's nice. Um, enhanced hammers are the biggest issue for sure. So I could just retreat into the Jirachi. Nah, I'll pass. Uh, having so many basic energy prices is really bad. Yep. How do I price half my energy, man? That makes no sense. How do I price half my energies? Okay, well, I'm happy to see that other enhanced hammer into this card, well, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this. Between my prices, my slow starts, going second, it's just it's like it's just not gonna happen, you know? And now I whiffed energy, so that's also really bad. Oh, but he didn't attack. Oh, wow. That is very surprising. I still, there's no way for me to attack though. Well, I guess there is now. But, okay, I think he's trying not to play his stadium. Maybe I should do this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what I should do here. Okay, I need him to play the stadium. And if he doesn't, then I need to find... I have two energy left. Okay. Is he gonna go Guzma? No, it goes Marnie. Okay, I'm okay with Marnie. I think. Well, no, now three supporters are at the bottom and I have no way to shuffle my deck. Just give me energy. <sighs> this is awful. Just wanted one energy. <laughs> or the other Giratina, right? How did I price half my energy? Well, a third of my energies. you and you just encourage my opponent to to find energies oh my god and now all my supporters are at the bottom so i didn't find anything i am 100 going to lose this <laughs> Well, I mean, I lose this match because I priced all my energies. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. There's no point in me continuing to play this. I'd rather use the time for something else. So we're 1-1. Um, my price just completely, uh, completely kicked my butt right there. So yeah, we'll see what we go up against next round. All right, round three, we are up against Dragapult Malabar. Pretty interesting combination. There's Mimikyu as well, there's Mew. So we both spread damage counters. Obviously, he has the stage two to set up. I have the stage one. I mean, the basic to set up. So I should be faster, but we'll see. Yeah, that Dragapult might be a problem. I feel like I should go first just to have a chance at attacking early on. Uh, pretty decent hand. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent hand. All 
right. I would love to have another psychic energy though. That would be the dream. All right, okay, that is fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and quick wall. He's playing Dimension Valley, which would also be helpful. So we don't mind uh, playing the stadium down. Um, definitely want to establish Inke. And then definitely want to go Viridian Forest away a research for a Psychic. And then go ahead and do this. Uh, I might have done that incorrectly. Because I want to get a Jirachi, right? I want to get Stell Wishes. Or do I? Maybe I don't want to Stell Wish this turn. Because then I have a guaranteed Malmar. No, I think I do want to Stell Wish. Yeah, I want this. I want to Stell Wish this turn. I definitely do. Delwish, Quick Ball's nice. That way, whatever I top deck, I can just establish another basic. Would have been nicer to have a um, a treasure, right? To establish the Malmar, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we can get things going right here. See the next ball being played by my opponent. For Jirachi, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and still wish himself, herself, sorry. Okay, so I can get double Malmar plus a basic Psychic in the Discard Ball this turn. I can attack and a switching card. I guess that's a lot. That is a lot. It would actually be nice if my opponent played down a Dimension Bali, I guess. All right, so there's a the 3P. Attaches to the Drippy and goes for research. So she's playing three switches and two escape boards, so not great chances that she can retreat that NK. If I KO this NK, she's gonna be. Well, I guess she's not. Yeah, never mind, she wouldn't be in trouble. It's only a 2 2 Malware line. Wow, she does find it. And Dragapult attacks for two psychics, so I guess it's not the end of the world. I wish it, this was Marty, though, to take away whatever. She ends up grabbing here if she doesn't play it. All right. So yeah, there's a rare candy, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Another Dreepy too. Okay. All right, well, we'll take that, I guess. Oh, you know what? I should do this, yeah, do that. Up the psychic, treasure away the psychic for a Malamar. Yeah, all four of them are available. Evolve the one on the left because why not? And then research, switching card. Oh, one energy away. Come on. Okay, I can still kill the Droopy though. If I get a way to discard. A Pokemon I can still kill the Dreepy. Nope. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I'm struggling with the energies right here. Alright, well. I mean I'm still going to attack, right? With um this plus F1 for sure. Uh my opponent is not playing any field blowers. So that is actually really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and distortion door. How much HP does Dragapult have? 150, okay. So definitely placing the damage here. And that was so unfortunate. No energy and no way to discard another Pokemon. I could have knocked out the Inke even, but especially the Droopy. Um, I guess I'll put the damage here. Because then if he goes rare, if she goes rare candy and KO my Blossephalon, then I can hopefully KO that Dreepy myself, right? So she would need double rare candy. 
All right. So I'm gonna fireworks bomb. Where though? I think I'd rather KO the Dragapult, right? I only need two damage counters to KO the Dragapult though. But I'm gonna do that because that's gonna be active. And I'll do the rest here. All right. I'm not sure. There's there's a lot of moving pieces. Only these are like completely brand new matchups. Yeah, completely, completely brand new matchups. But it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting to to see what people come up with. <laughs> pretty interesting to see what people come up with. All right. And then if my opponent doesn't even get rare candy dragapult, then we're good. Because I did put the one damage counter here, means I, I threaten KO, right? <laughs> well, now we know she's guaranteed um, dragapult. Discarded a Dreepy, that's peculiar. Might try to play around her Blacephalon as well. I mean, I can play around Blacephalon. Actually, no, never mind. I was gonna say if I can KO the Malamar, but Blacephalon does attack for Psychic Colorless and she does play Dimension Valley. I'm in, I'm really surprised she plays Dimension Valley when the main focus is uh, that guy because it doesn't get benefited any benefit from. Oh my god, really? Doesn't get any benefit from... Um, wow, what a hand. Doesn't get any benefit from uh, the Dimension Valley herself. That is really, really unfortunate right there. She had everything. <laughs> she just had everything. All right. And now I'm, I can't even KO that guy, right? Because all my energy is committed here. So, I mean, I will get a prize, which is nice, but would have been much nicer for things to be a little different. Would have been nice if she just attack, attacked the Blasophilon, right? That's all I could have hoped for. And now I don't want to end, obviously. Uh, I also don't want to Marnie, but... So I'm going to research. Sure, I'll res. I mean, yeah, computer search, not research, sorry. Computer search for research. That works. And then, sure, let's do this. And then let's research. Uh, I get this, which is sort of nice. I can reestablish in K. I feel like I might be better off. No, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do want to reestablish the NK. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to threaten with that. Okay, so she plays no hand disruption whatsoever. So I can fireworks bomb to here and then to here, I guess. Why not? Like, will she really get another Ver Candy Dragapult of what she currently has? I hope not. She doesn't play the middle stage. Okay, so why would you attach to the active if I, if you're seeing the spell tag right there? That makes no sense, but I mean, I'll accept your tribute. Oh, you know what? No, no, I misclicked. Oh, I misclicked that extra thing. I meant to right click, not left click. Oh well. So one wasted damage counter. 
Uh, my Malamar is no longer threatened, which is nice. We have the double Malamar back up. You can see the difference in consistency, right, between the stage two deck and the basic Pokemon deck. So I'll attach this Psychic Recharge onto here. Psychic Recharge onto here. I'm surprised she doesn't play the Tapu Lele, but it's also understandable. She doesn't play any Field Blower either. Uh, so we'll go ahead and still wish. Like the one thing that could make things go wrong would be a boss or Kuzma to this Malamar. So that is why I'm doing that. I will grab the Ditto, sure. Do you want to bench your Ranger instead? No, I'll just bench the Ditto and then I'll retreat. Take this KO, right? I'm not miscounting. Shadow it back. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the ability. I didn't even realize that had an ability. <laughs> I did not even realize that had a, such a strong ability. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was just like a spread deck. I did not realize that Dryopult could actually prevent all the damage. Wow. That is insane. I did waste eight damage counter, but right now it's two Drachis against Giratina, so... And I'm ahead in the price card, so I think this is looking all right. I'm not playing any Guzmar bosses orders in case you hadn't noticed. I will not have Blacephalon. I will be able to play... Well, oh, actually... Ooh. She could have... I'm at three prices. She could have used her own Blacephalon if it's not priced. Because she had the Dimension Valley. She had kept the energy as well. So I think she's focusing too much. Like a Blacephalon could have been could have been three, three, could have met her at three prizes. And I mean she you know she would then still have three turns to to reestablish whatever she was trying to do, right? So Alright, so now I have a switch. Now I have a switch. So sure, I'll do this, just grab the next Psychic, use the other Psychic Recharge. And... Oh, that ability is so annoying. Right, so Shadow Impact. I'll try to put the damage over there. Oh, actually, I should have put it on the active, oops. Yeah, I really should have put the damage on the active. Because she hits for 120, so I'm, I go down no matter what, but um, if she attacks for 120 when I have 10 HP left, then that makes her attack less cost effective and there's less damage counters uh, for her to, to abuse. I'm hoping we're still going to be okay. It might come down to does she flip tails or does she flip like four heads back to back to back. It is a little worrisome though that like yeah she could clear my malamars. Oh. Well there it is. Oh really? What? How do you have the perfect cards? Come on. How do you have the perfect cards? What the heck? Jeez. <laughs> All right, so there's already two damage counters there. How does she have such perfect cards in her hand? All right, so I do this. Another Malamar. I'm a little worried. Not gonna lie. She has three cards in hand. It's just, what if she flips? Two heads. Oh, she could win next turn if I use this Giratina. Like if she flips heads right here. 
Yeah, really putting the damage there was so silly. Okay, I need her to flip tails. So I guess I might as well do this. 3 to 2. I don't know what she has there. gonna have the boss can't believe this man oh wait it's gonna be a tie if she flips heads she wins if she flips tails it's a tie <laughs> wow Okay, so... Oh no! She wins! She wins! Because I have two prizes! Oh my god! <laughs> and yeah! Wow, I can't believe I lost that. I cannot believe I lost that. I really can't. It was an interesting game, but... Both times she just had like the perfect cards, you know? For the two Dragapults. And she flipped that heads, which changed the game, right? So it came down to a flip. <laughs> nice.